Hello dancers and welcome to day 18 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here talking to you today about the quick step lock step. If this is your first time watching any of our videos, please feel free to subscribe and like what you see. Um, we've got tons of different videos. This is already the 18th video that we've done in this series. We started a little bit with more philosophical things, a little bit more technical things, and now we're going into more details specifically in different dances and different figures in those dances. We've already covered a few figures in the waltz, the tango, and the slow foxtrot. Here is now our first video on the quick step. Let's get ourselves started with the first level, the beginner level, for the gentlemen or the leads. Gentlemen, leads, please, please, please make sure that you do a toe heel action on step number four. That's the last step of the lock step. I'm going to demonstrate this going down the line of dance across the screen here. Here's step one, heel, toe, step two, toe, step three, toe, and last step, toe, heel. It is that left foot gentlemen, leads, that we usually always get wrong at the beginner level. This is what it looks like. Slow, quick, quick, we get through the toes and then all of a sudden we lower too early and then we go out with a heel lead. This is incorrect with the basic footwork and technique. One of the reasons why this is not so great is because as you see, I start lowering too early from the lock step and it puts me in a different plane or different height in relation to the lady. The lady's up on toes and she's coming backwards on a toe heel action on step number four. We need to match that and lead her to do that correctly. If we start to lower too early, quick, quick, and we start to lower here on our right foot, going now with a heel lead. Not only are we going to lower before the lady, but we'll also hit that heel, and a lot of times it's not smooth enough. An exercise that you can do to do this toe heels, this figure, is to take microfiber cloth, a nice cleaning cloth that we've been using all the time now that we've got so much time cleaning the house. Um, you could use a shoe bag, you can use another towel, you can use an old t-shirt, um, and what I'd like you to do is place it on the floor. You're gonna place it underneath your left toe. I'm going to dance this lock step slow. Here's my step one, right foot. Step two, this is a toe lead. Usually gentlemen get that correct. Cross, and then make sure that I still push that toe and move the towel with me. I'm not going to leave the floor, leave the towel, and then go to a heel lead. That would be an incorrect action. This would be a correct action. So if I demonstrate this correctly again, one more time with our little teaching helping tool, slow, quick, quick, push that towel. I've got the toe heel action and we're all good to go. Ladies, follows, let's talk to you about um, some technical points I'd like you to, to implement at the beginner level. On step number one, as you're going backwards now, ladies, we, I want you to make sure that that left foot goes backwards and the heel does come down on the ground. So whereas, gentlemen, I was saying do the heel late um, in the toe heel action. Don't go straight to the heel. Ladies, here, I do want you to go toe, heel, and make sure that you get to the heel. Then you're going to go up toe, toe, and then toe, heel at the end. So it is at the end of step number one that we transfer backwards onto your left foot that I want you to make sure you put your heel down. A lot of the ladies do this. This is the regular problem. Toe, they keep the heel off the ground. Then they're up ready, toe, 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 heel. A few reasons that isn't so good is one, okay, it's not the correct footwork, but now you're also rising earlier than your partner. So you're starting to have, again, a mis mismatched rise and fall pattern with your partner, which is not so great. We want to be synchronized. The second thing, ladies, is because we're trying to travel backwards in a very smooth and balanced manner, if I keep the heel off the ground, it slows down my center movement slightly. So ladies, as I'm going backwards, slow. If I put the heel down, it allows me to transfer weight more continuously, more aggressively going backwards. If I keep that heel off the ground, it stops or blocks my center movement slightly as I go backwards. And again, as I'm going backwards and gentleman is powering forwards, I'm gonna end up feeling like I'm a little bit heavy or I'm blocking him. Yeah, so ladies, I want you to feel that you put that toe heel down, then toe, 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 heel. There aren't really any specific um, teaching tools that we can use to really promote that except our microfiber cloth again. So ladies, what I want you to do, this is a little bit more challenging, is we're going to step 
And we're going to make sure that when we step backwards, we step backwards and place our heel onto that microfiber cloth. Slow. There's our first step. Slow. Now, as I'm going backwards, I'm going to now drag that microfiber cloth with my heel, not with the toe. So I'm not going backwards on step number one and placing my foot with the toe on the the towel, but I'm going backwards and placing the heel on the towel. From there, I want to now pull that cloth as I now go through and then finally I cross on toes. If I can feel like I place my heel onto the cloth, this one's a little bit more um, cushiony and I can feel that through my socks, um, then it gives me a feedback mechanism, a feedback um, that I am putting the heel down on the ground. All right, let's move on to the intermediate level. So leads on step number two, step number two of your lock step. So that would be your left foot. We want to dance that left foot diagonally forwards, diagonally forwards. So if I'm now looking at you straight away towards the camera here, this would be a forward step. This would be a diagonally forward step. Right now I have two tracks if I just walk normally, my right foot track and my left foot track, whether I'm going backwards or forwards. Now, there is another track out over here for my left foot. So I'm not going to go slow, quick, as in slow on the first track, quick on the second track, but I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna go quick to the third track or the third lane if you're thinking about it as a highway. Gentlemen, why do we want to do this? Because when we're trying to lead the lady properly so that she crosses her left foot in front of her right foot on step three, we need to accommodate for that space that she actually is moving now slightly on a diagonal on that third step. To be able to do that, our second step already needs to be towards that space. If not, if we just go straight, the lady's gonna feel like your energy is going straight back. And a lot of the times, the ladies, instead of crossing in front, they're just closed or they go in a half lock position where the feet are right in front of each other. This isn't so great and this isn't so um, correct for the ladies. So, gentlemen, we wanna be really clear about that lead. How are we going to now practice this? We're going to use a bunch of tools right now. We're going to have our big foam roller over here. We're going to have our rolled up yoga mats over here. Hopefully you can see those. And then we're going to have the little blue water bottle. So these are signifying three different foot tracks. Right now the water bottle right now is signifying my right foot track. From here, I'm going to now signify my left foot my, my, sorry, the yoga, yoga mat as my left foot track, okay, as in regular tracking. And then I have the big foam roller over here, yeah, and I want to make sure that that is now my destination for when I go on to step number two. In reality, when we do the figure, the, lock, the forward lock generally, gentlemen, we'll be stepping outside partner and CBMP on the first one. So... I'm lined up with the yoga mat. Step number one is CBMP, so I'm already on the yoga mat with my right foot. And then I would, instead of going on to, um, actually, let's do it this way. I'm standing on the um, water bottle, and then I'm stepping across along the same water bottle, so my left foot is along the water bottle. And then instead of going to the yoga mat, I'm going across to the foam roller. Again, it's a little bit of a wider foot placement, all right? Now, follows. Let's talk also about CBMP because on step number one, you need to make sure that you're still staying with your center, with your partner. I'm gonna use these same um, little tools here. Now, ladies, what I'm doing right now is I am placing my right foot, my standing foot along the water bottle. And as we now step backwards, ladies, a lot of the times we step over here beside the water bottle. Now, my foot's probably off screen right now and it's going away from that water bottle. No good. Ladies, I need to make sure that I'm going in CBMP, which means my left foot is tracking on the same track as my right foot, if not slightly more across. So ladies, I'm going towards the water bottle. I need to look back and go, am I going towards the water bottle or am I going to totally miss it? There is step number one of the backwards locking action for us. We're going to be able to make sure that therefore, not only are we staying centered, but also our legs are going in the same direction as our partner. Let's move on to part number three of this video and this is at the advanced level. I'm gonna put these away for just a second. 
Okay, leads. Let's talk about frame. We haven't talked too much about frame, but tonight, today, I, I really want to be clear about the frame, and more specifically, the function of where your frame is trying to dance your partner. Where leads are you trying to dance the follow with your frame? Now, a lot of times when we are dancing forwards, especially in a figure like this, which has really no turn or no alignment change, a lot of times we think, okay, everything is going in the straight direction, and now the hands and the arms are also going and dancing in that same direction. It's partially true and partially false. And I'll say partially false because we are not trying to now, when we are connecting with our partner, Notice I'm gonna have a little bit of my left side lead. I turn around, show it to you this way. I'm dancing now away from the camera. Vump, we have that. Is that gentlemen, we do not want to bring the lady's poise in the same direction that we're traveling. If I'm traveling towards the camera, I'm not trying to bring her poise here. I'm trying to make sure at the advanced level that she is still dancing with her left side poise. And therefore, gentlemen, I'm asking you now, for your right arm, especially your right arm, is to make sure that it's still poising to your right, to the man's right. So here I am, I have my rightwards rotation for my left side lead, and my right arm is dancing in this direction, is not dancing in the same direction as the figure is traveling. Now, how are we going to practice this? Gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to take a tie, it could be um, a TheraBand if you got one of those, or if you have a, um, a string, you can use anything like that. What you can do is you can wrap it around your back here. Whoop. A nice, colorful, bright tie that don't get worn anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it in between my fingers. You can hold it in your hand if you want. I'm just going to place it in between my ring finger and my middle finger here. I'm going to place that now off on the side here. And as I'm doing this, whoop, as I'm doing this, I'm going to put it in between my index and my middle finger there, is that I want to make sure that this is still pulling in that direction. Yeah, this is still pulling in this direction. I think my camera has moved. Hold on just a second. What's going on here? Let's move this guy back. All right, this is more like it. Tripod air, tripod uh, misfunctions. So gentlemen, I am trying to now pull my right arm into this diagonal. Can you see where that tie is going? It is getting pulled into that direction. So no matter how, even if I'm walking and I'm locking and I'm going towards the camera, I'm going now across in this direction for the lock step, or I'm going slow, quick, quick, slow, for that lockstep, I want to make sure that my arm and my hand is still dancing on that diagonal. What I don't want to do is say, ah, oh, I'm dancing in the line of dance. I'm going slow, quick, quick, slow. And you can start to see, and I can feel the movement of the tie on my back, and I can hear the sound of it changing, and I can also see more clearly, oh my gosh, the tie is now moving in a different direction. So gentlemen, you wanna make sure that your hand is always going on that rightward space and not too much forwards, even though that's where you're traveling. Ladies, we're gonna use a tie as well because I'd like to talk to you about your head poise. It's very, very similar to what I'm talking to the gentleman about, but now you need to also make sure that your head poise is to the left. Not perfectly left, but generally to the left. What we don't want is to go backwards or for specifically um, in this figure, we never want to go now over to your right shoulder with your head poise. This is not where the head should be dancing. But ladies, and I'm going to dance this now as I'm going to dance uh, the figure in this direction. So here's my line of dance. We do our slow. There's some CBM. We've got our quick. We have our right side lead and we're starting to dance down the line of dance, for instance, here. And because of all that energy, my head dances in that same direction, in that same space. But if you notice, that energy, that line of dance direction, coupled with my rotation, is going to now make my head poise over here. It makes it all wonky, kind of like my tripod today. What's going on with my tripod? Let's just move that again one more time. Oh boy, oh boy, sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we go. So ladies, we want to be able to use um, a tie, um, a string, um, you could even take a sweatshirt, tie it up, or, or a long towel, flip it around, make it nice and long. And what I'm going to ask you to do, ladies, 
is I'm gonna ask you to hold it in your left hand, all right? So if here's my regular left poise, you can copy me um, as you're watching the video this way. And I want you to notice that unlike what the gentleman is doing where I wanted them to pull and make it really tight, is that I want that to feel very loose. And the reason it's loose is because the head is dancing towards my left hand. If I demonstrate it in this direction, my head is dancing towards the left. It's not dancing towards the right. Now there's my right, here's my left. If I dance to the right here, and you can see it better in this angle, the tie becomes quite tight, becomes straight. There's no more slack in it. Whereas now if I'm going to the left, there's a droopiness to the tie. So as you're dancing this by yourself, ladies, and practicing your backwards locking action, slow, quick, quick, slow, we want to make sure that that tie maintains its bendedness or this soft sagginess. We're not going to have slow, quick, quick, slow, and now you can see the tie is being straight. I can also feel the pressure in my neck, the pressure in my hand um, to indicate that, boy, oh boy, I'm doing something a little bit wonky with my head position. All right, there we have it, everybody. Thank you again very much. It really means a lot to me whenever people email or write comments um, in the section below, just giving me some feedback that you guys are out there, you're enjoying the content, you're enjoying the videos. And if you have any other um, ideas or any other um, questions, please feel free to comment um, down below or email me and I'm sure to be able to uh, put it in a future video. That's it for now. Thank you very much. Apologies for the wonky video um, alignment with my tripod, but we'll figure it out for the next video. Thanks very much. See you later.